Hi there guys, this is Cass, welcome back to another video. Uh, I apologise that it's been a little while since my last video, as you can see, I've just moved house. So it took a little bit of time to set up, and now I'm ready to make some more review videos for you guys. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Emulsion line from Element E-Liquids. Now we all know Element E-Liquids fairly well. You can check out my other videos on their two other new lines, uh, Tonics and Far. Today we're going to be looking at their emulsion lines. Now their emulsion line is essentially 10 of their original flavours combined to make 5 new flavours. So we're going to be looking at those today and I think nothing better than to jump straight into our first juice of the day. Now our first juice of today is a combination mix of their Limon and Watermelon Chill. These are an 80-20 series, uh, the Emulsions Dripper series. I've put some into this setup today. Now today's setup is slightly different than the last couple of videos. I'm using a Tsunami RDA from Geek Vape and I'm just using a simple Segali 100 watt mod here. This is the Limon and Watermelon Chill, both great flavours on their own. Let's see how well they mix. That's a bit of a strange flavour. I like Limon, I like Watermelon Chill. I'm not getting any of the good parts of any of those liquids actually. The lemony kind of citrus hit is definitely there and I'm getting a menthol coolness to the flavour. They haven't really blended it the way I wanted them to. I wanted that kind of cool fruity undertony hit. This is a little bit, it's a little bit synthetic. It tastes too much like lemons and limes and I'm not getting enough watermelon frosty chill off that. It's not what I quite was expecting. Normally Element are very true to their flavors and if they're going for this emulsion series, I guess you're gonna get some unexpected results mixing them. Maybe it's just their choice of flavors don't go together so well. Maybe they go together great. I've still got another four to go. I think that's why I'm disappointed. If I'd have just tried it on its own without any pre-expectations, that probably will have changed how I feel about this. It's not enough of either flavor. It's this kind of weird middle ground, and I don't know if I'm enjoying that one so much. All right, let's move on to number two. Number two is Fresh Squeeze and Crema. Fresh Squeeze was probably one of my favorites. Fresh Squeeze was probably one of my favorites. It tasted really, really great. It was really sweet and there was loads of citrus. Let's see if adding the crema to the mix has made it even more sweet than it was before. I would like to thank the guys at Element for uh, sending me these liquids. I picked these up at Vape Jam about a month ago now and they, uh, they set me up with these so I could review them for you guys. So. Let's have a go on this fresh squeeze and crema. That is wonderful. They've taken the best elements of fresh squeeze and that thick creaminess of the crema or crema, I'll say crema for now, the creamy thickness of the crema and just put them together. It's not lost any of that orangey citrus undertone. It's creamy, it's thick. I would probably vape this quite a bit. It's just a better version of Fresh Squeeze. It's almost like you can't ruin ice cream by putting sprinkles on top. Apparently you can't ruin Fresh Squeeze by putting crema with it. It's still thick and sweet like it was before, but more so, it's got a creamy exhale on the inhale. It's all fruits and citrus, and I really, really enjoy this flavor. Let's have another vape, and I'll let you know my thoughts. This is what Fresh Squeeze was probably missing the first time round, and I didn't know I wanted it until I had it. I don't think I could have the original Fresh Squeeze on its own now. Fresh Squeeze and Crema go fantastically well together, far better than the Limon and Watermelon Chill. It's a wonderful flavour. It's thick, it's creamy, it's citrusy, it's sweet. It's everything I want from a juice. All right, that's number, I think that's probably my top of these Emulsion series so far, the Fresh Squeeze and Crema. Let's move on to our third flavor of today. Our third flavor of today is pink lemonade 
and Key Lime Cookie. Pink Lemonade is the very first juice that I ever had when I started Subbone Vaping about 18 months ago. This is a, it was my favorite. It still is one of my all time favorite juices. I really hope they haven't ruined it because that Key Lime Cookie, that's a strong flavor on its own. I've put some into the setup here. Let's have a go. This is the Pink Lemonade and Key Lime Cookie. All I'm getting on that is pink lemonade. It's on the inhale, a lot of pink lemonade. On the exhale, again, a lot of pink lemonade with a little bit of a hint of lime. Not as strong as I was ex would have expected from the key lime cookie. It's still really present is the best way to describe that. Again, I'm a big fan of pink lemonade and it's almost like I could ignore the key lime aspects of this. It's not quite like they've mixed the 250-50 here. This is really, really heavy on the pink lemonade. I'm going to give you one more vape. It's strong on the pink lemonade, like I said before. And the more I vape it, the more I'm getting that key lime. But it's coming through as a much softer flavor than it did when it was on its own as an original line. It's pink lemonade with a bit more lime. That's the best way to describe this. There's not so much of that cookie flavor in there. It's not so overpowering. I could enjoy this as an alternative to pink lemonade. I think if I got tired of pink lemonade, uh, this would be sort of that side alternative without straying too much from that flavor profile. I think this is possibly my second favorite. So far, the Fresh Squeeze and Crema has taken the crown for this, this line of juices so far. Let's move on to our fourth juice. This is our penultimate juice. And this one is strawberry and banana nut. There we go, strawberry and banana nut. And what they've done with these labels is they've literally taken the two colors, and put them together. This is going to be very much a first impression on both of the flavors. I always find banana flavors a bit overpowering. If you ever have banana in a smoothie, you'll find that banana always seems to take the lead. It's just a flavor that is big, it's powerful. Let's see how strawberry, a uh, renowned for being subtle flavor, holds up to the banana nut. Give it a vape. This flavor, this banana nut and strawberry is sweet and creamy. It's still very heavy on the banana, but what the strawberry has done being in there is it's softened it off, it's sweetened it out a little bit, and you get some of that strawberry on the exhale. On the inhale and mostly the exhale, it's banana. It always will be, and it always has been, banana. But the strawberry really lightens the flavor. It makes it not so heavy, not so sickly. None of these have been particularly sickly, to be fair, so far. But this one has just softened it off. It's lightened it up with that strawberry. That's a really nice little effect that that's happened there. I'll have one more go on it, and I'll let you know. It's a light banana. It's That banana has really been lightened by that strawberry. Again, light, creamy, th not so thick, but very sweet. And I quite like that. And Element are renowned for making laser accurate representations of the fruits and flavorings that they've put into their juices. This is no different. It is the two there. It's just the effect of the two flavors combined that I'm kind of discussing here. You can taste that strawberry, but again, it just doesn't quite stand up to that banana and the banana really takes the lead on this juice. Let's move on to our fifth and final juice of the emulsions range from Element E-Liquids. This one is actually using the key lime again, but it's key lime cookie and frost. There we go. So what I'm expecting here is a lot of citrus and a lot of menthol. Frost is menthol to the max. I hope it doesn't kill that sweet key lime cookie flavor. Let's see how she vapes and I'll let you know my thoughts.
this juice is really where the key lime cookie comes into its own. You have that citrusy, sweet, creamy cookie on the inhale, and on the exhale, it's cool frost, just underlying that limey cookie flavor. It's really, really good. It's not overpowered by the frost, like it has been by the pink lemonade in the other flavor. The key lime cookie takes the lead on this one. It's creamy, that lime citrus just punches in there on the inhale on the exhale you get a combination of the cream from the cookie and you get that cool undertone of frost and i thought the frost was going to be a lot more brutal in this flavor but it's not it just sits under the flavors and cools your mouth it's refreshing it leaves your tongue clean and wonderfully refreshed it's an enjoyable flavor i could probably have this as an all-day vape potentially i do tend to find lime a little bit overpowering and a little bit too much for a longer period of time, as with all citrus fruits. They've done a really good job on this frost and key lime cookie flavor. The frost doesn't kill it, I thought it would, and I'm really glad that it doesn't because that would have ruined it for me, I think. Let me have one more vape on this and I will continue telling you what I think about it. Man, I love this Tsunami RDA. I'm going to be doing a review on this very soon. Uh, I just picked one up and I love it. It's given me some really, really clean representations of these flavours. I would just be repeating what I said before. The thick, creamy limes on the inhale. On the exhale, you get that citrus burst with a punch of cold menthol that just leaves your tongue refreshed clean, minty. I think for now that pretty much rounds up our Emulsion Line review here. They've done some really wonderful combinations. I would have liked to have seen Strawberry Whip make an appearance perhaps. I would also have liked to have seen the Tangerine probably make an appearance in place of that Fresh Squeeze, but the Fresh Squeeze and Chroma takes takes the crown on this line. They've done a really good job with that. They've done really well. This case is for all tastes and it's going to bring a lot of people who are fans of different flavours of the element range together by combining their favourite flavours and that's a really good idea. I wish more companies took their flavours and just put them together. Not as some business model but because it would be interesting to see how other flavours would work with you know if you mix them. I mean I've mixed flavours in tanks before and it works really well. It's nice to see companies stepping out there and giving that a try. Alright well thank you for watching this review. This has been the Emulsions Line by Element E-Liquids. I've been Cass. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I'm going to be bringing out a couple of RDA review videos soon. I've got the Dot Mod lined up to review and also the Tsunami RDA and a wonderful juice from a British company called Boulevard by Wick Liquor. So I'll let you know how I get on with those. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.